Welcome to the Real Estate Espresso Podcast, your morning shot of what's new in the world of real estate investing. I'm your host, Victor Manash. On today's show, we're talking about a survey conducted by commercial brokerage house CBRE, CB Richard Ellis. The survey was sent out to its investment evaluation professionals in the last two weeks of August. One of the top items that I saw in the survey was the word risk. It took many different forms, but at the end of the day, it came down to that one word. And as we've talked about recently, risk has become top of mind for most investors this year. And if there's one word that captures 2020, it is the word risk. Risk is nothing new. It's been ever present, but this year has seen some risks that would have been considered low probability. If you told me at this time last year that office occupancies would be falling through the floor, I would have laughed. If you told me that the airline industry would shrink by more than half, I would have said you're mad, but here we are. The fact is most of us are not trained in how to assess risk or manage it for that matter. For that reason, I'm going to be hosting a free one-hour risk management webinar on the evening of October 15th. And in that workshop, I'm going to give you the tools to recognize risk categorize it, quantify it, and plan for it. And if you can't make it, or if you want to review the material for a second time, we'll be recording the talk. To register, go to victorjm.com slash events. That's victorjm.com slash events. Now, there's a number of sentiments in the survey that are worth noting. We're going to start by talking about the investment market conditions. Survey respondents reported that a disconnect between buyer and seller expectations has emerged, with more than 60% of buyers looking for discounts from pre-pandemic prices versus 9% of sellers willing to offer them. That's a pretty big gap. One third of survey respondents were underwriting at the same rental income assumptions as in Q1, and the remaining two thirds have adopted a much more conservative set of assumptions. Half of those with unchanged underwriting assumptions were in the industrial sector, and as you'll see in a minute, that makes a lot of sense. The CBRE professionals indicated that investors are placing greater importance on certain investment criteria than before the pandemic, particularly tenant credit quality, that was cited by 85% of respondents, the length of the lease, and building occupancy. Roughly two-thirds of respondents believe that investment activity will recover to pre-pandemic levels within one year, but that sentiment varies widely by asset class. We'll talk more about that as we dig into the details. Overall, there's a few changes in the market that are worth noting. The suburban multifamily sector in most markets reported cap rate decreases, which means really price increases. The central business district and suburban office sectors had the most markets reporting price declines or cap rate increases. It may seem counterintuitive that prices would be increasing during the pandemic. In my opinion, this reflects a flight to safety. Multifamily asset classes are seen as being more recession resistant than either retail or office. 76% of market respondents reported unchanged industrial cap rates, so prices are holding steady. Industrial was the only sector with no markets reporting price increases or price drops from the second half of 2019, so prices are holding firm across the board. Industrial and multifamily investors were the most likely to bid above asking price. The share of industrial buyers willing to bid above asking price was 21%, and I've seen the same dynamics in my home market. There's an extreme shortage of industrial land, and some buyers are willing to pay more to get it. Among buyers looking for discounts, nearly three quarters were for office and retail. For suburban office, 95% of investors were looking for discounts, but approaching no sellers were willing to offer them. Central business district office and retail properties also had large gaps between buyer and seller expectations. When asked how long it's going to take for the market conditions to return to pre-pandemic levels, the answer varied widely by asset class. In the office asset class, 72% of respondents said it would take more than 12 months for offices in the central business district, and in the suburban settings, 48% it would take more than a year. In the retail sector, 58% of respondents said it would take more than a year for the market conditions to recover to pre-pandemic levels. I personally think it's going to be much longer than a year. And in multifamily, 84% said it would take under a year. In fact, 45% said it would take less than six months. Industrial on the other hand, seems to have hardly skipped a beat during the pandemic. When asked about the factors influencing investment decisions, respondents said that three new factors loom large when looking at new investments. Number one, building occupancy. Number two, the length of time remaining on leases. And number three, and this was the biggest one, the credit worthiness of the tenants. These factors seem much more important than in the past. There's no question that the business outlook is considerably more negative, especially in office and retail. Respondents were much more concerned about tenant downsizing, long-term lease-up times for office and retail than for multifamily or industrial. 
About 30% of survey respondents were assuming higher vacancy in their underwriting due to tenant bankruptcies, and with the retail sector accounting for 53% of these respondents. Half of respondents were planning flat rent growth or lower effective rent for new leases. 49% were expecting higher vacancy due to available space taking longer to lease, and 49% were planning on greater rent collection for the remainder of 2020. So as you think about that, have a look at how your underwriting practices have changed since the start of the pandemic. Ask yourself how you compare it to this group of real estate professionals that work for one of the more respected commercial brokerages in the industry. Have an awesome rest of your day. Go make some great things happen. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.